you have right in front of you the camera on which you shot yes. this. It's a. It was all shot on a VHS camera. VHS and beta cam. My God, I think yeah. my bar mitzvah was shot on something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that looks. I haven't seen yeah, anything. No, this is the real deal. This is uh, the oh. AG four fifty five. Right. Panasonic. Uh, if anyone wants one, we have seven of them now, so <laughs> we're, we're camera heavy. It's so about to, just, I was about to say you had to go search high and far for something like that, right? Yeah. And this was the old faithful. This one. This one shot most of the movie. Yeah. Okay. So, and so you legitimately would press like play and record oh, yeah. on it just to we, shoot it. We yep. shot everything on actual tape. I mean, it was such a process finding the right tapes and everything, right. but pretty much. Uh, we want it to be genuinely of the 80s. And no magnets allowed on the set. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that, because you could demagnetize a tape. Which I would ruin the dailies. That. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, oh so he had a box of God. how many tapes? It ended up being 53 tapes. Which was uh, the film, right. and, and we didn't have time during the shooting to transfer them, so yeah. Jack had a freak out one night and well, well, spent three days you know, transferring. It was at the end of it. I'm like, you right. know, have a cold like you always do at the end of a shoot. Of course. And I just looked down at this box. I was like, oh, my God, like if, if there's a flood or anything, my movie's gone. So we actually I stayed up for three straight days and digitized everything. Transferred onto digital and edited. Yeah. On sure, digital. of course. But and the it, look of it is, you know, you it, can't get it without shooting. You, you can't. It, it looks like, again, you know, because I used to do this, too. When I was a kid, I would mm -hmm. pop a tape in and record something and just crash record it on whatever was on the tape and it would remove everything that was from it. Like what kind of shows, Rich? Well, <laughs> MASH. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you told us that you grew up in Staten Island. I grew up in Staten Island. So you know this, those public access. <laughs> <laughs> public access with the famed, you remember, Robin Bird. He's oh, from yes. New Jersey. Oh, yeah. um, and she had some interesting conversations on live public she access. She was a, quite an interviewer there. Yes, she oh, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was exactly doing that. So, uh, where did you come up with the idea, Jack? For, so, yeah, for so this VHS film? is pretty much like it's about a 12 year old kid who records right. over his parents' wedding tape. Okay. Uh, so, you're watching the wedding tape get recorded over. Yes. And it's all his late night television and all of the uh, kind of weirdness that you can find late night along with his life and kind of his, his friends and stuff. Yes. And so, it's kind of like a view into this kid's brain, but with humor. It's got Carrie Kenny and Thomas Lennon from Reno 911. Oh, Thomas Lennon yeah. is every scene that he is in. So funny. Laugh out loud. So funny. Funny. How much of that was scripted, or it was just him riffing uh, off on stuff? He's so funny. I mean, it was about 50-50 for him. Because he's, uh, he's yeah. like he's kind of like a QVC Legend. host yeah, yeah. In, in in this film, you know, mm -hmm. to use with a, a complicated a, relationship with his partner. <laughs> yeah, <over there>. yeah. <laughs> and then Brockman. There's one. Uh, that's Chris and Mike over there, by the way. Uh, hey, there's one up, scene in this. In this, and again, it's. I mean, I. I, I the films that leap to mind that would be similar, like Kentucky Fried Movie, yeah. right? Where yep. it's just one kind of skit, if you will, after another, after another, after another, and it yeah. would be mashed together in that respect, right? Yes, but there's also this quite moving part of it, too, which is mm -hmm. that this kid, his parents are going through a bad time and mm -hmm. possibly going to get divorced. So it's kind of, you see the world through this 12-year-old's eyes, yes. but also you kind of start feeling his angst and his... Is you know pain you know it's it's, it's and a really it's a comedy film. it is well I mean it is funny it, I mean again one one of the late night uh, cable scenes that it gets crashed into is a I guess a female Bob Ross okay okay <laughs> painting a landscape <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, of a mountain and then it gets a little bit strange because the alien spaceships are on the top left corner and she starts talking about the alien spaceships and do you want to then finish the uh, and then it. What's in the bottom? What's in the bottom left part down, of the screen? And then it pans down. She's dunking on Dennis Rodman <laughs> uh, in a very graphic yes, way. Yes, in more ways like, than one. Oh, oh, yeah. In, ish. yeah, she's. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's doing that. Uh, Chicago I, Bulls era. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course, the worm. The worm. Yeah, the worm. The worm. Right. Uh, yeah. I think the line is: uh, uh, "There's moisture, and some of it is in sweat." <laughs> So. Uh, Carrie Kenny plays that Fantastic. part. From, you know, oh my gosh! Awesome. Yeah, it was super awesome. fun. So, where'd you choose Rodman? Just because uh, that's just a I funny just thing. I thought it was or, like, okay. if anyone's gonna have a fantasy about a '90s or uh, '80s right. athlete, it's Dennis Rodman. I mean, he was dating Madonna. He was dressing in dresses. Like, right. There's something about Dennis Rodman. There's something about level, Dennis Rodman, you know? even today, where you know, if he's in North Korea one second, or he's on ESPN the next, is <laughs> a thirty for thirty. It's kind of crazy, you yeah. know. There's also the the late night uh, conscious 
pornographies that the 12 year old yeah. tapes, <laughs> including Hot Winter, the first American film about global warming. <laughs> yeah, which happened to be an adult movie. Dr. Manley. <laughs> It's sure true. is this hot is, in here. This is literally in winter. the movie. It's a hot winter. It's a funny. It's it's a. It, everybody should check it out. VHS and I have the VHS version of it sitting right here. And uh, you were very kind to rewind it as well. Oh yeah, you, you can have just to be pop kind, that right, right in uh, to your DVD player. <laughs> yeah, I just remember. You know, it's kind of crazy. I got uh, again Tim Robbins and Jack Henry Robbins here. I just would remember when I would rent a movie. I couldn't choose one. I literally would walk around the blockbuster yeah. for like a half an hour. And I'd be, you know, I, I don't know why it would take me forever to do that sort Because of thing. there were so many bad movies, and you were like, uh, there's got to be a good one in here somewhere. Right, pretty right? much. And then you find it, and it's like, oh, no, we rented that. That's right. That's it's out it's not there. Yeah, I know that yeah. somebody put the box in back on the wall, <laughs> yeah. and, they, and you open it up. Like, yeah. what, what? It was honestly a terrible thing to do in society would be to return the tape box, but no tape, Empty and box. leave the box oh, up yeah. on the Oof. wall. Just terrible. Oof. Yeah. That's not that's It's like not a betrayal right. of humanity.